good afternoon to all the jury members present here. The topic for our research paper is Guess What Your Password Reveals About Your Personality. It's uh, based on social engineering. So, what is social engineering? Social engineering includes manipulating people into giving their personal details and personal information. It's used to lure users into giving out their personal data, spreading malware infections, and giving access giving access to restrictive systems. So social engineering is not something new. It has been around since a very long time, since even before the internet actually. It has a very interesting history. Uh, in Bible, in Genesis chapter, uh, there's this thing where Isaac had gone blind in his old age and he was on his deathbed. After his wife heard that he wanted to give the family blessing to the eldest son, she told the youngest son, Jacob, to go and receive his father and receive the blessing instead. The problem was that the eldest son was a very hairy man and Jacob was not. So to deceive Isaac, Jacob covered himself in goat skin. This deception worked and Isaac blessed Jacob instead of his eldest son. In this example, Isaac had fallen prey to what is known as a simple fishing scheme. So right now, presently, Engineering on social networks is done via quizzes and such. These quizzes might look harmless and non-suspecting, and the end user will have absolutely no idea who uh, has Hello, hi. Uh, uh, sorry to interrupt, but there's a song which is running somewhere. I'm not able to hear it properly. Is there by any chance can it stop it? Uh, I'm sorry, but I, Sir, I guess the sound is from the Sharon side only because all, any, uh, all other participants have muted now. So Sharon, is it possible to shift yourself and where the sound is for disturbing the conference or the, the presentation? Okay, okay. Uh, so give me two minutes. Fine. Uh, is it okay now? Uh, yes, I think it's, it's better now. Okay, so so nowadays, presently, um, social engineering is executed via quizzes and such, online quizzes. I mean. These quizzes might look harmless and non-suspecting, and the end user will have absolutely no idea as to who has access to it. For example, uh, it will be the most common type of quizzes that we see now is called what type of personality are you? Uh, they might just be about the Lord of Rings character. Uh, they might just be about what Lord of Rings character you are or how long you will live or who they are most compatible, who you are most compatible with. On the outside, they might appear harmless and fun to the end user. However, on a deeper level, these quizzes themselves are one of the most insidious vectors of social engineering. Okay, so these are some of the examples uh, as to how social engineering is executed nowadays. The first one is um, it's a quiz, like they show uh, that you've won something and they'll ask you to click on something, a picture, and they'll ask you to attend a quiz. Then they'll say that you can share this information with 50 other people and then you'll finally win the thing. But that is also a form of social engineering. And like also the second one, then via SMS, uh, in that you can see a link. So if you go to that link, after that link, after you click on that link, the people on the other end might get access to your passwords, usernames and such. So we try to create a similar quiz in order to find out how many people will reveal their information according to different age groups. So, uh, so most of the uh, age, most of the people of the age group greater than forty, they didn't know what social engineering was. Most of them have attended such online quizzes. Okay, so 
I've created a user persona here. So using the first target's profile, here's how a spear phishing attack could play out. Using the profile for target one, it is known that the user loves country music. So an email could be crafted with the title having something to do with country music style. For example, breaking news, Kim McGraw on deadbed after car accident. To see the link, to see the link video of, the, of this breaking news, the target is supplied with a link in the email. When the link is clicked, the target is prompted to download an updated codec for their video player. However, what is not known to the target is that this codec is actually a key logger that silently installs and can capture usernames and passwords back to the attacker. Because it is known that the, that the target loves country music, there is a much greater probability that the target will actually open the email and try to watch the linked video than if the email is included with some other random subject line. So these are how people can use your personal information and try to hack your password. Different types of social engineering attacks, fear phishing, wishing and smishing, in-person attack or scam, impersonation and identity theft. So solution for this can be that uh, we can spread awareness among users and install antivirus software. A few specific type of information that should never be given out on the type of quizzes we discussed is personal banking details, personal password details, personally identifiable information. So if you try to use these solutions, then social engineering attacks could be avoided. Thank you.